Episode 2 Initiation We start off with Ryan entering the Dragon's Team Gym aka Home Base. When Ryan enters the whole room stopped. Damien and five other members came up to Ryan. They were buried a 6 feet 5 inches 320 pound black man. Miguel 5 feet 9 inches 190 pound Puerto Rican. Rick a 6 feet 0 inches 210 pound white man. Marshall a 5 feet 10 inches 195 pound black man. Lastly Scrappy 5 feet 5 inches 180 Filipino. Damien got close to Ryan and said sorry about this kid and punches Ryan right in the nose as he flew backwards behind him was Barry who caught Ryan, spun him around, and hooked him in the face. Ryan panicked while all six men were beating him up. All he could do was cover himself as best as he could. Lou stop they stopped Lou Ryan come here Ryan is it over Lou no I just need to talk to you. Ryan walked up to his father. Lou whispered something in Ryan's ear after that Ryan's eyes narrowed he began to walk to the six men as he did Lou yelled out just remember keep fighting. Ryan walked up to Barry. Barry laughed and said ready. For round two little boom Ryan jumped up and punched Barry right across the face then grabbed his head and kneed him on the nose after that Barry fell. The others men all said at the same time oh shit after that the other guys ran to Ryan ready to attack. Ryan dodged and weaved as he punched away while he fought he yelled with rage. Barry got up and shoulder butted Ryan. After that he picked him up and slammed him to the ground. Ryan's internal thought. It hurts, just keep fighting. Ryan got up and kept punching away the six surrounded him and were hitting him all at once. Ryan's head bounced around like a pinball. But he kept fighting. Ryan's thoughts. Just keep fighting even if it hurts. Ryan was bleeding like crazy that's when Lou said enough. They stopped Ryan kept punching though he only hit the air. His father said Ryan that's enough. Ryan didn't respond. Because when Lai got closer to Ryan, Ryan was unconscious. Lou just gently grabbed Ryan's fist and said it's okay son you won. Ryan after hearing those words began to fall down before he hit the floor Lou caught him and carried Ryan in his arms. He walked to the exit doors. The whole gym was quite loose said I'm going home for today, everyone get back to work. The gym yelled back in response, yes sir after that Lou took Ryan home. It's the next day and Ryan walked into the gym, the gym stopped. Ryan hi guys. The gym people all yelled out yeah. Ryan was shocked after that some random people came up to Ryan. One person said, dude, you were great. Another person said, yeah, man, you kept fighting even when you got knocked out. While people were talking to Ryan, we go to another side of the gym where Barry was spotting Lou as Lou benched pressed. Barry, so what did you tell that kid anyways? Lou told him if he kept fighting, I would take him to a brothel and his favorite restaurant. Barry laughed and said, boys are all the same. I remember when I was his age. The scene goes back to Ryan talking and laughing with the other members of the Dragons. Lou finished his last set and yells out. Okay, everyone listen up. My son is here so I can announce what team he'll be on. Barry's crew. Barry's crew was make of Damien, Miguel, Scrappy, and now Ryan. Side note, Ryan is 5 feet 11 inches 190 pounds and Damien is 5 feet 11 inches 220 pounds. Damien walks up to Ryan and presents his hand and says, Welcome to the team kid and I'm sorry about yesterday. Scrappy also walks up to Ryan and says, Yeah, no one wants to do this, but it's a rite of passage. Miguel says, I pappy don't even sweat it okay. After all was said and done, Ryan began to train. As he trained, he learned different tricks on fighting and how to defend yourself against multiple opponents. After training, Ryan would go hang out with his new crewmates and have a night of fun. A week passed by and Ryan was swinging on a swing set. As he was swinging, we see David come up to Ryan and said, What's up, homie? Ryan, nothing much, just nervous for the 15th. David, that's right, your birthday. Ryan, yup, June. 15th, my birthday, Davy. Yeah, I understand my birthday is soon September 12th, but then again, I'll be joining you in the adult division. Ryan sighed you also a little heads up they see you naked and examine your stuff live. David what the fuck like you mean in front of thousands of people. Ryan yeah David that's what live means Ryan chuckled. Dumbass said Ryan. 
Ryan pushed David playfully. David pushed back then they smiled. Ryan one last time? David fuck yeah, I'm always down to spar with you. They both got up and began sparing. Punches were thrown and so were kicks. There was grappling and finally Ryan was choking out David. David tapped out and said I keep getting reminded why you were the leader. Ryan haha yeah, but hey man I hope one day you'll be able to kick my ass. The boys had a laugh. The day was finally here June 15th, Ryan's fist real match. We start off with Ryan waking up and getting ready for this first match against the Cowboys. Next scene goes to Ryan and his crew getting on a train. When they get off the train, Ryan began to get nervous. Ryan always knew to never underestimate your opponent. The scene plays out with the Dragons walking to the stadium they got on a platform as they got on everyone was quite. The platform moved up and they began to hear cheering. TV lady welcome to Bloody Sunday this match is a 5 vs 5 the Dragons vs the Cowboys. This is not a normal match name of the game keep them unconscious. We also got a new member of the Division 7 Dragons Ryan. Who just turned 18 give it up for Ryan. The crowd cheered for Ryan. Ryan looked around so many screens and so many people this was nothing like the team division. TV lady are you ready? Both sides got ready. TV lady began. Both sides began running towards each other. Punches are being thrown left to right. We go to Barry who's grabbing someone and is bare hugging him. He processed to slam the cowboy to the ground. The man gasped for air. To Damien, Damien does a right hook on a guy and, followed with a back elbow, he processed with a superman punch right in the guy's temple. Scrappy is fighting a big guy they are at a stalemate both dodging punches. Ryan fighting one person who looks around his age. But the man is more experienced. To put it to you bluntly Ryan is getting his ass kicked. The man fighting Ryan drops Ryan to the ground. The man runs over to help fight Barry. So now there is two guys fighting Barry and there is two guys fighting Damien but Miguel runs to Damien's aid. Scrappy yells out Dragon Switch. Switching means a tactical switch to people who you would mostly be able to take on. Damien and Miguel both run over to Barry and Sucker punch the guys fighting him. As they were doing that two of the cowboys were running towards Damien and Miguel. But Barry runs to the two and takes them both down with his arms. The two men fall hitting the back of their heads knocking them out. Blood poured from the back of their heads. Ryan gets up and helps Scrappy fight. The big guy as the both of them jumping the big guy the big man swung furious Scrappy got hit in the side of the head with a hook dropping him. Ryan is dodging the big man's hooks weaving out. Then all of a sudden Barry grabs him from the back holding his arms. Barry jump him. So they did Scrappy started punching him as he tries to kick around Barry turns and slams him on the ground Barry. Scrappy and Ryan are stomping him out slash kicking him in. On Damien's side, Miguel and Damien keep switching between two guys. Damien punches the guy on his left in the throat. Then they switched as the guy on the left was choking Miguel hits the guy on the left with kick to the throat making the man fall gasping for air as he was choking they focused on the man to the right. Damien tackled him but he wouldn't go down so Scrappy kicked the left side of his knee his knee making a cracking noise. The man screamed in pain Damien then does a hip thrust to the left side making the man fall down on his left leg. The leg snapped and the man went into shock taking him out afterwards they ran to Barry and joined in on kicking and stomping the big guy. Blood and teeth flew. Ryan and Scrappy were kicking in his head left to right. Damien was stomping on his nuts. Miguel kicked in his ribs on his left side with the sound of crunching. While Barry just put his foot on the man's back holding him in place they were kicking in for a while as the man went limp. The scene changed to the rich people's stadium. There is a man with a crown good this will teach the pig to speak ill about me tell them to stop said the man with the crown. The TV lady said we have a winner the dragons. The crowd went wild after the dragons got on the platform and onto the train that matched the 150k. For the pure brutality of the fight. On the train ride the boys were in pain Ryan's head was pounding. Barry knees twitched, Scrappy was out of breath and he had a busted lip and bruises on his face. 
Damien picked up his shirt. Miguel said, damn pappy, you got your shit fucked up. Damien, yeah, but I didn't lose a tooth. Miguel had a rag on his bloody missing tooth and said, fuck you, Maricon. Even though the boys won their victory did come with a price. The price of blood, sweat, and pain. When they arrived, Ryan began walking home. And guess who's waiting for him? It's David. David, yo man, damn fool you got fucked up. Ryan, I did. David, yo man, you got a black eye, your shirt is torn, and you got bruises all over. Ryan, I just have to lie down. Ryan begins to walk again and gets dizzy and starts falling. David caught him and said, hey man, you okay? Ryan, I just got a little dizzy, that's all. David, well, fuck man, I got to help you home. Ryan thanked David. David made Ryan lean on him for support. As they walked, Ryan said, remember how I had to always had to do this for you back in the day? David, yeah man, back then I couldn't fight for shit, but now who's helping who? Ryan shut up man, he laughed. David, what you gonna do about? As they laughed, a drone was flying above them. As we see on the screen on the other side, a lady say, oh, he has was potential well little dragon. Let's see how you do in the next game. End of episode 2